I get asked this question a lot, what is HANA? I've probably been asked that question a thousand times in the last three months, and HANA is actually a lot easier to understand than people think, and I'll, so I'll explain it kind of using the, the common metaphors that we're used to. HANA is a database. Now, it's a special kind of database that is really unique in the market. If you think about the database market over the last 30 years, it's a very simple but straightforward architecture. You have a computer with a spinning disk inside of it, or newer ones that have a solid state disk, but you have a disk, and you store information on that disk. And the relational database, you know, part of it resides on the disk, and part of it will you know, work with a computer's CPU and memory to produce information. That's how it works. And what we looked at was we looked at, well, how could we dramatically simplify that, number one? And number two, how could we radically speed up the performance of the architecture that has been around for 20 or 30 years? And so when we, when we thought about that, the first thing we thought of was, well, what kind of storage medium? Is it disk, is it solid state disk, or potentially RAM, or a computer's memory, should we use for this next generation database concept? Well, we knew that RAM, it was very, very expensive, but we knew it was incredibly fast, actually anywhere from 10,000 times to a million times faster than the different disk options that you might have in a server. So we said, this is interesting. If the price of RAM were to drop a computer's memory significantly, and the ability to have large amounts of RAM inside of a, a server or computer increased, you could literally put an entire database, plus all of its data, in a computer's physical memory. And just by doing that, you radically change the value proposition of a database. You go from minutes, hours, sometimes lots of hours to days to retrieve a large amount of information to seconds to milliseconds to retrieve very, very large amounts of information. And that is very intriguing. So that's kind of what set us on the, the path of this in-memory technology. And of course, HANA is the result of it. HANA is an appliance but on that appliance is a next generation in-memory database. Literally, the entire database and all the data it stores sits inside of a computer's physical RAM. We skip the disk altogether. We've left it behind. We use it for backup, but that creates such a powerful value proposition for our customers. They're able to take HANA and apply it to an existing system that they have and immediately get performance improvement. And consolidate the amount of hardware investment and software investment that they currently have. But HANA opens up a new generation of possibilities. For example, if you're a retailer and you wanted to completely transform your point of sale experience, that's a perfect application for HANA. And what I mean by that is when you walk into a retailer today, you take your big pile of clothes, you set it on the counter, you give them your credit card, and we all know what they say next. Would you like to sign up for another credit card, which you probably don't need, for 10% off of your purchase today. Now, as far as I'm concern, concerned, that is carpet bomb marketing. That is, I don't know if you need that or not, but I'm just going to ask. And with HANA, you can actually do very precise marketing. What I can do is as that retailer rings up every single item in your pile and swipes your credit card, by the time that card drops, you can send those items, as well as your credit card data, back to HANA, have it analyze your previous purchases, compared to what you're buying now, and make real-time suggestions to the guy behind the counter or the gal behind the counter as far as, well, hey, you know, the last time you were here, you purchased these three items along with another pair of jeans that you are buying today. Can I give you one of those shirts for 50% off today? That's the power of in-memory computing in real time. And it doesn't take a massive farm of servers to do it. HANA can do it with a single blade. Because what HANA can provide is a, a, a single blade can literally have a terabyte of RAM, which stores an, a very large amount of information. But because of the speed of analysis inside of that HANA machine, you can literally do things like transform the retail point of sale experience and do it in a cost-effective manner. That's really the reason that we're driving in memory computing is to transform what companies can do with the budgets that they have on hand.